This video is going to focus on the atomic number, and in particular, what the atomic number tells us about the uniqueness of an atom. Okay, so there are two numbers on the periodic table, as I'm sure you're aware. One of them is the atomic number, one of them is the atomic mass. Now, the mass number can actually change. That's when you get different isotopes, which we'll look at in a different video. But the bottom number, the atomic number, is the proton number, and that is unique. It stays the same for every single individual atom. So what I mean by that, if you have three protons, you have lithium, and only lithium. If you have four protons, it is no longer lithium, it becomes beryllium. So it is unique. Okay, let's have a look at an example question then. So this one says, look at the elements in the periodic table above. As you can see, these aren't real elements, but it gets the point across. So we have davium, bobium, petium, and philium. So the first question is, what is the atomic number of petium? And explain your answer. And number two is, Mike thinks that the atomic number should be 25. Explain why he is wrong. Now, the first thing to note here is this is in order of a periodic table. So it goes up in order from one to the next. So you should be able to use that to easily figure out what the atomic number is. And then think about the rest of the video and how that explains why it can't be anything else. Pause the video, have a go at it, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, if you had a go at that, let's see if you're right. So if we go to the first question then, what is the atomic number of petium? It's got to be 24, because it goes up in order of 22, 23, 24, 25. And that proves that the periodic table is arranged in order of atomic number, not atomic mass. Then the explanation, what you're looking for, is the periodic table is in order of atomic number, or protons. The second part says Mike thinks the atomic number should be 25, explain why he is wrong. It can't be 25 because philium has the atomic number of 25, so that would be your first mark. So basically saying there is another element that already has an atomic number of 25. And then saying that the atomic number is unique for each atom. So you can't have two different atoms with the same atomic number. Hopefully that's made sense. If you are feeling confident, have a look at this review question, which is based on philium again. It says, look at the element. It's an element that Carl has found on the internet and he thinks it's real, but Lily does not. Lily shows Carl the periodic table and shows that there is already an element with the atomic number of 25. What element has an atomic number of 25 and why does this help to prove that Carl is wrong? So think back to what we've just been through and grab yourself a periodic table from the internet and have a look at which one has an atomic number of 25. And that's the end of this video.